question. Um, my name is Daniel Gauthier. Thanks for the great talk. In the case of PCBs that you mentioned, I was wondering what were the legal grounds and how were the arbitrators legally able to go against the Basel Convention? Are, uh, is someone tweeting you? Or is, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm taking notes. Oh, I thought you were actually reading. Someone had emailed you the questions. Like, <laughs> this must be bigger than we thought. <laughs> um, what were the legal grounds? The arbitrators um, found that there was a technical loophole in the Basel Convention uh, that allowed a party to the convention to export hazardous waste to a non-party. The United States is not a party to the convention under certain limited circumstances and they said those circumstances existed even though the Canadian government argued vehemently that they did not. Um, so the Canadian government's lawyers own interpretation of uh, the um, international agreement and by the way these are trained international lawyers, members of the DFATE legal services branch. Um, their opinion was uh, set aside for in favor of these trade experts' own interpretation of the environmental treaty. Um, but that was a relative, I mean, I think it was also because the, uh, the arbitrators really believed that this was a discriminatory move aimed uh, specifically at favoring Canadian based waste disposal uh, enterprises uh, and discriminating against the Americans and they, want, they were going to find a way to uh, rule in that, uh, to make that ruling. Mm -hmm. So behind and then we come back. Okay, uh, I was just going to say that I belong to the Council of Canadians and uh, my barlow has become uh, uh, the representative of the UN for, uh, for water, uh, you know, right across the world. And uh, also, I want uh, uh, the last thing that the Council of Canadians and um, were asked was um, uh, this Columbia, the treaty with Colombia. And, uh, and uh, when Harper put it through the, through the first time, uh, uh, there was, or trying to put it through the first time, uh, they were really, like, he got so much opposition that he didn't, that he stopped it. And, uh, and uh, Colombia has very bad uh, <coughs> uh, uh, human rights, okay, but the worst in, 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 uh, in the world. <coughs> And uh, if, so, if someone wants to start a union, then they kill them. You, you know, there's an awful lot of um, uh, like terrible things that are going on there. And then, uh, and then, uh, all of a sudden, the liberals, okay, and this was Ignatius and, and the whole bunch of them, they decided that they wanted to have the treaty with Colombia. And uh, and now it, uh, they're in, so they they passed it, and they're in um, and they're in committee now. This is uh, like they, they uh, this is they passed it twice, and now it's in committee. So is there anything that we can do now? And and, and what I read, uh, Andrew Cash wrote about it in, in the uh, in the Now magazine, and uh, what he said was that this is. Um, the back way that the United States is trying to, to make a treaty with with them also, like with uh, Colombia also. And, uh, it's uh, you know, it's so anyhow. This is a very bad situation, and uh, and then I was reading the CCP this weekend, and I found out that they did, they did the same thing with Haiti. And, 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 but in Haiti, uh, the Canadians were, were first. It was Chrétien's uh, idea, okay? And he, uh, or, or maybe they did it together with the United States, I don't know. And then in the end, it was Canada, the United States, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, and France that uh, brought down Aristide, who was, who was, uh, 
uh, who was voted on it, and from there afterwards they came and, and, and they killed everybody that was, uh, you know, that was attached to Aristide. And, and they told him, like, to leave. Mm -hmm. And uh, it wasn't just, it wasn't a uh, United States' idea, it started out with Chrétien. Is there a question? So my question is, how do we stop this sort of thing? Yeah. Well, you keep doing what you're doing in the sense of writing letters to the editor, um, writing op-ed pieces, uh, organizing grassroots action in terms of uh, uh, demonstrations or protests uh, in Ottawa or elsewhere. Um, you know, the various campaigning and public action campaigning tools that uh, are familiar to the Council of Canadians and others. Um, partly it depends what you want to accomplish. So, um, I mean, do you want, uh, is the goal to uh, not have any of these trade agreements and to roll back the international trade architecture? Or is the goal to move towards trade that is not just free but fair. Um, if you want to move toward fair trade, that wouldn't necessarily mean being against um, bilateral trade agreements, uh, but being in favor of certain sort of norms and terms in those agreements. Um, but uh, it's a challenge. Okay. There's also one other thing. Uh, He's been making secret trade agreements, and he's even just getting them with him to have a As you point out, it really is a multifaceted problem. It's a multifaceted challenge. It's proceeding. Often it is. Um, the, uh, I mean, the the Columbia one is being uh, debated in Parliament. So, I mean, at least that's uh, better than complete secrecy. But uh, yeah, yeah. there's one a fairly recent illustration of, of Stefan's point about citizen participation on these issues. That was the huge resistance um, of nationalists in the three countries of North America against the Security and Prosperity Partnership, which uh, was now it, it, it was left-wing nationalists. Nationalists in Canada, Mexico, are more or less left-wing. In the United States, they're extreme right-wing. But there was uh, their argument was that the SPP undermined American sovereignty. But the end effect was that the SPP has become Unoperation, inoperable, mm -hmm. and uh, Obama himself uh, took it off the agenda of the um, the annual summit of the of the three governments of North America. So their last meeting, the SPP really uh, it wasn't officially announced, but it was informally, secretly uh, put to bed. So th there there are certainly instances where uh, public opinion act has has an impact. Anyway, we're, we're coming to it. There's another question. Yeah. yeah. Um, 